Hello everyone, this is the Let Me Tell You channel, and today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic, the truth behind the camera camera. If you're a photography enthusiast, you've definitely heard about the darkroom. This is an old photography technique that was used for many years before the era of digital photography. But, did you know that the camera obscura was invented over 2,500 years ago by the ancient Greeks? That's right, the first darkroom was a darkroom with a small hole that let light in. The image was projected onto the wall opposite the rust, inverted and in black and white. But how does this relate to the photography we use today? Well, the camera was the basis for the invention of photography. In 1826, Frenchman Joseph Nicefort Nietzsche managed to fix an image using a camera obscura and a glass plate covered with a silver emulsion. This was the first permanent photographic record in history. But now, let's get to the truth behind the camera. Many people think that the camera obscura is a magical device that creates perfect images, but in fact, it has its limitations. For example, the camera camera cannot capture motion. As the image is projected on the wall opposite the external one, it is a fixed image. This means that any movement, no matter how small, will register as a blur in the final image. Another limitation is that the camera is not capable of registering colors. Since the image is projected in black and white, colors are lost in the process. In fact, black and white photography was the norm for many years until color techniques differentiated. And lastly, the camera requires a lot of skill to use. You need to have a good understanding of optics to correctly adjust focus and exposure. In addition, it is necessary to have a good understanding of the process involved in image development. Another interesting fact is that the darkroom is not only used in photography, but also in other areas such as physics and medicine. In physics, the camera is used to study the expression of light and to observe the behavior of subatomic particles. In medicine, the camera obscura is used to detect and diagnose vision problems and to study the functioning of the human eye. So, to conclude, the darkroom is an ancient and fascinating photography technique that is still used by many photographers today. It has its restrictions, but that doesn't make it any less important in the history of photography. If you haven't tried the darkroom yet, I highly recommend you give it a try. It's an amazing way to learn more about photography and its processes. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the camera camera. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Let Me Tell You channel to receive our updates. See you next time.